Hi, it's the Honeydew Carpenter, and today we're working on this, the light and portable rocket mass heating system, and more specifically, this component of it, which is the 4,000 degree firebox. Each individual brick is cast and formed. I know it looks complicated. I promise you, it is not. This will be the easiest form project you ever make. When I invert that drawing, you see the form there. This is what it looks like in concept, this is what it looks like in real life. There are no screws or fasteners, and this thing just falls together. And the results are absolutely tremendous. In concept, if we look at these bricks closest to us, and we imagine them cast in place with a reinforcement web on one edge, you'll eventually be able to roll them into a circle like this. Now let's play a little game. Virtual concept versus reality. Here this thing is in its pure conceptual form and here it is in reality. If we go ahead and take a look at the firebox in its conceptual form, then that'll give us an opportunity to just kind of imagine what it's going to look like in reality. All we have to do to finish this box is squirt some 3,000 degree mortar through a caulking tube into the V's and wrap it up in some bungees for a few hours. Now here's the riser for the heat chamber in concept. And then here is what it ended up looking like in reality. Now the riser will get mortared in place over a hole near the back of the firebox as you see in concept, and here is what it looks like in reality. Now, there I'm placing the vortex area over just to give you an idea of where they'll set in relationship to each other, but it, it won't go on there until after the aircrete is poured around the firebox inside of its uh, containment apparatus or the outer shell of the rocket mass heating system. It only took me about an hour to make the form to make these boxes, and I'm gonna take you through it step by step. Now here is the original concept drawing that when I was first imagining what this would look like. That's with the aircrete around it. Of course, you can't pour aircrete into air, so it has to have the outer shell. I had those beautiful rounded legs on it. And from the original concept, which is what this is, I just want to give you guys just kind of a sense for how it is coming along and how it is turning out in reality. And so here we go. This is how it is coming together. But I promised you guys I would take you step by step and show you the form for making this alumina ceramic fiber core firebox. And here we go. It is so simple. It's basically a dot to dot. You get the plans and you just mark the marks across your board all the way. Now I'm building this one to do two boxes at once, but you don't necessarily have to do that. If you're just doing it for one, it's the same exact method. So you just mark your uh, lines across the edge and run a straight edge with them and put your lines down. And here I'm marking the lines where the V wedges go in your form. And you just put dots and then take a square and a straight edge. And it looks like Mrs. Honeydew has been messing with my editor and that's fine. And there I'm just Xing out the ones that won't be poured and won't be used and which ones are the backs of the two fireboxes that I'm building in this form here. I'm making this form out of a press board with melamine uh, laminated to it because it's cheap. I am using a foam core vinyl board to make the other form pieces. Now all you do is go through and cut some three quarter inch by three quarter inch pieces on your table saw and that is what is going to get used for the end pieces of your form and you square those up and push everything else up to them and then it just all falls together. You will need four cross pieces for each form cut with a 45 degree angle on each end. If you guys think that looks like plastic corner molding that I'm using as the 45 degree wedges for this form, well, you're 100% right. It's accessible at any Lowe's or Home Depot. Anybody can access it. And 
it works fabulously. Now for the 22 and a half degree wedges, I had to make those. I just took a board two inches wide, set my saw at 22 and a half degrees, and I would cut one, flip the board over, cut the other one, and I just did that over and over because I was doing two forms at once and so I ended up needing 16 of these wedges. When you guys see how easy these wedges go into place and the form just falls together, it is going to kind of blow your mind. Now, now the double lines are starting to make sense there. You see where I lay the forms in. Now I just laid out all the pieces without uh, any caulking or glue or anything at this point just to get a sense for where they were all going to go and how they were all going to line up. You'll want to do this to just make sure that all your cuts are really precise. If I needed to make eight pieces the exact same, I would put a board on my saw and clamp it down so that they ended up all being exactly the same. Now there's for the riser, I'm putting in the 45 degree wedges made out of the same material, this corner molding, for that. Now here I am setting in place the 22 and a half degree wedges uh, where they're going to go. At this point, I'm just explaining to Mrs. Honeydew how I want to hot glue gun down the end form pieces that are set around the V wedges, then pull the V wedges out and mark lines across the top of them so that we can precisely set those V wedges in place to complete the form. After you tack down that first piece, everything else just gets pushed up against it. Good job. Okay, that's the shot I'm gonna use. <laughs> Took you eight times to get it right, baby. Okay, after you get this form complete, you're just going to want to wipe it down with a little bit of paste wax as a release agent and pour it. Um, at this point, I'm just going to let the video do the talking and I'm going to uh, shut up and just let you watch it. But I've been told from a lot of people in this industry that this is the holy grail. A shippable core for a rocket mass heating system and this is it. I could make using these same methods I could make this into a J-tube or any configuration that I want. This just happens to be a batch box style with a secondary burn chamber or a vortex chamber in it. So enjoy the rest of the video guys. You're going to want to watch it to the end because we pour it, we let it cure out, and we remove it all from the forms. So those that we just tacked in place with hot glue come right off. Okay, now look at this. Get a close up of this, babe, before I remove it. Baby, I was zooming in on your son and you just Okay. Hey, this 
triangle. Okay, move, Tindarius. I gotta. I I want to get a. I want to get a shot of what that side of that form oh, looks yeah. like. Oh. Aren't you guys doing that one? We are, but we have to remove this first. So I'm going to try and. So let's remove this out. And that's our first 22 and a half degree wedge. Look at that. The wedges come up with it. That's perfect. Because our marks are still on the... Good job, buddy. Okay, we'll slide it over to where this corner is on the edge. I'll push down and you pull it out. Good job, buddy. Okay, let brother get one or two. Okay. You got four of them, so let him. And this is the vortex area. Now, watch this. Let's see if it works. Boy, that's strong. But I'm super strong. Papa, I'm super strong. Um, Papa, you he know, wants to do I'm one. Okay, strong. you want to do one? You want to? Watch your finger. Yeah, you don't want to pinch your finger. You, you did, did it. it! Good job, buddy. Oh, he's doing another one. Here, let's do this one the other way. <laughs> Good job. Look at you ready? Okay. There you go, buddy. Yeah. This little bit, and then, yeah, look at the, this is the riser area for the burn chamber. Good job, buddy. Thanks for helping dad. Okay, so, oh, I thought that, that we could get the triangles to stay. But apparently we can't. But the good news is all the marks are in place, so it'll be really easy just to take a glue gun and tack these back into place. Okay. Yeah. And look at these turned out good too. Look good. That does look good. Thank you, boys. Okay, so I'm doing this slowly so you can. Woo! Woo! Mm hmm. Okay, now, buddy, I need you to pull that one out. There you go. Good job, buddy. Good job. Thank you, see. Now go again. And not too long. And there you go. Hey, okay. Perfect. Oh, thank you.
we can put straps around it and it'll be one piece, one box. And it weighs probably 35 pounds. 